Hello everyone. Today we're going to deal with something that is big and I'm super excited about this. So let's check out what is our seafood of the day. The seafood of the day is my favorite finger mark bream, also known as uh, golden snapper. I caught this fish recently and it's about two kilograms. This fish got the beautiful eyes and then um, I love the, the color on the tail and also on the fins. They are like um, a bit on the orangey reddish kind of uh, hue. Something majestic about this fish is it has very sharp tooth which make it a very ferocious uh, predator. I have each part of the finger mark brim and I'm going to try sashimi. Let's take it out. This has been aged for three days. Wow, it looks really good. So I'm going to uh, prepare it for sashimi now. Sashimi done. This is my first attempt in uh, making a sashimi. So uh, forgive me if the plating is not very nice. And then now we shall proceed to make the second dish. The second dish that we're going to make is uh, steam fish belly. So I got this from the belly part of the fish and I'm going to cut it and put it into the ice water. The ice water will actually make the fish um, a little bit firmer. So let's do the cutting first. We will let this soak about uh, 10 minutes and now we shall prepare the rest of the ingredients for today's dish. First, we will prepare minced garlic. Um, I chopped it till very fine, almost like a paste, as you can see. This is about seven cloves. Then we have uh, chili padi, just one enough, just to give a little bit of heat. This is parsley. Um, this is more for garnishing, as well as to give the dish um, a good smell. We will pour this sauce over the steamed fish and this sauce is basically consists of the um, two tablespoons of light soy sauce and then um, I added one teaspoon of uh, sugar, half a teaspoon of uh, dark soy sauce and one tablespoon of water so to dilute it. This is my new steaming plate and um, first we're going to just uh, coat the plate with a little bit of cooking oil. 
so that the fish will not stick to the plate. Next, I'm going to put the fish that we're going to steam onto the plate. I put the skin down this way. Okay, we are ready to steam the fish. Um, for this um, fish belly, I'm going to steam it about seven to eight minutes because it's relatively thin. And then uh, after that, we will cook the sauce and pour it over and we are ready to serve. After about uh, 8 minutes, I think our fish is cooked and then now we shall cook the sauce and pour it over and we're going to look forward for an exciting dish. Put in a bit of oil. Next, put in the sauce that we prepared earlier on. Okay, bring the sauce to a boil and then we're going to pour it over the fish. Okay, let me try the sashimi first. Um, hmm, the texture of the snapper is actually quite good. Um, not so crunchy or mushy, just nice. And um, okay, I'm gonna try one more with a little bit of the wasabi. Okay, just a dis disclaimer to everybody, do, do not buy a, a fish from the wet market and do this because this fish is caught by myself, so I I'm, I'm, um, have confidence that it's fresh. Mm. This is my first time trying finger mark snapper sashimi and I can say I like it. Okay, how about the other dish, which is the steamed fish belly with um, garlic. Okay. Oh, it's very soft. Yum. Mm -hmm. I get to know about this dish uh, because I recently, I visited one of the um, stores and the chef actually cooked this very well. So I'm trying to um, create a dish that is close to him. Wow, it's very nice. Mm. I love it. I have to say the finger mark sashimi is beyond my expectation. It's actually very nice. Um, as for the steamed fish belly, I think that overall is, is very good, except that um, perhaps I could reduce the garlic a little bit. And um, I think that uh, maybe I could also adjust the steaming um, timing. Um, I did about eight minutes, but I think I could do it maybe with about six to seven because it's like a little bit overdone. So anyway, I hope that you will try out these um, recipes and I will see you in my next video.